Hello and welcome. So today we're going to be talking about uh, something that uh, most of you uh, don't even want to talk about, but uh, I'm still going to talk about it. Uh, it's going to be uh, my view on Star Citizen and um, where this channel is going to go to from here. Um, it's not like a big thing, uh, nothing actually changed, uh, the only thing is that people are perceiving this channel to be, uh, a kind of a channel, and they keep on saying that, even though, uh, that is not true from my point of view, and, uh, I'm here to address, or, or we are here, and I'm gonna try to address, uh, those, uh, things that people have said and uh, yeah let's just roll the intro and let's talk about it hello my name is so first off let's talk about the state of the channel right now because we talk about that uh, every time uh, in these videos and uh, yeah the channel has grown uh, it has been amazing guys like I have the channel for like I don't know six months or something like that and we are already at uh, 1364 subscribers right now and uh <laughs> if you ask me i know that like pe some of you are probably uh asking about revenue and i'm gonna see right now and uh, uh the revenue for a lifetime is 97 bucks so it is not much and uh, don't think that i'm doing anything for the revenue right now at some point maybe if the channel gets some sponsors yeah uh, but right now uh the only thing that you can actually do to support this channel is gonna be to uh, support me through Patreon. And thank you for uh, everybody in my Patreon or my patrons that are supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. If you want to become one, there's gonna be a link down in the description of the video and you can click there and do Patreon stuff. Uh, so yeah, so let's try to address some of the critiques that I'm getting constantly for the past few months all right so first off uh sorry about this camera it's really really hard for me to get it uh, to the other side of the table uh i'm thinking when i get enough money from this channel i'm thinking about buying another one so it can be right in front of me but it's really awkward for me to look at the camera and look at the screen because i have some stuff written down so the first thing that i wanted to talk about is uh, the a thing that people always say about me and that is that I am always negative I'm not I am simply not I just want this game to be the best game ever and the best thing to do here is like call them out on their bullshit and to critique the game so we can get a better experience sooner because you know like this game is in production for 10 fucking years already and i've fallen for it uh more like uh, more than a year ago uh, i was researching the game since the kickstarter i, I didn't want to uh, invest any money into the kickstarter because uh i i i thought it was a scam and um to be honest um <laughs> I can't say that it's a scam now, but there are some really scummy and scammy things uh, th that are happening constantly around this game. But the only thing is that you need to know is that I love uh, the game. I'm playing it like th 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 this is the only game I actually play. I play it every fucking day, 24 seven, basically, whenever I can. And then I also make videos on it. Why? Because I want to better the game. I want to like give my input and the input of the community that I represent, and that is you guys that are subscribed to the channel. And uh, I want to like help the developers understand what we actually want. I don't represent the whole fucking community. Of course, that that's that's not a thing. I do represent a smaller amount of the community right now, and that at some point is gonna like switch and like as the as the channel uh, grows uh, the community 
that is supporting the channel or that is thinking like this is gonna grow, of course. Now, I don't wanna bitch uh, uh, this much, but uh, for the last few months, they really gave me a thousand fucking reasons to bitch about this game. Although I, I still love it, I still do love it. But, I mean, you, you know what happened in the past week. Uh, what, what, like they called us, they they called us noise. On top of that, they said, uh, when I say they, I, I mean CAG. They said that they're gonna uh, exclusively do Squadron Forty Two now. Like what? Like you can see it on the on the roadmap. Most of us missed it. Even I missed it. Uh, um, Ray's guy uh, didn't fucking miss it, and he made a great YouTube video about that, and you should check it out. And, uh, dude, like, we are paying for ships in Star Citizen. We are, pr like, paying subscriber shit for Star Citizen. Then, on top of that, you are asking us to pay for Squadron 42. But you are building Squadron 42 from uh, Star Citizen money. And then you tell us, now we're going to exclusively do uh, Squadron 42. So does that mean that they're going to uh, push back fucking salvage? Because, like, salvage is not, uh, is probably not a really big thing in Squadron 42. So they can push it back again, right? So, yeah, like, I, I want to uh, help CAG to understand how we feel, how I feel. Like, maybe sometimes I'm gonna say some, some stupid shit that you guys are not, not gonna agree with. And that is normal. Like, I'm trying to voice my own uh, um, thoughts on the game out, and I know that a bunch of people agree with me. Most of my org agrees with me, link in the description if you want to join, we are a PvP org, but um, I know that like most of you guys that are subscribed to the channel are also agreeing on this. Now, I'm currently running this game, uh, if you can hear this, I'm sorry. There's somebody just like using a fucking power drill at like, what is it? Fucking 4 p.m. Okay. Uh, give me a second. Uh, I, I need to deal with this. Uh, the Serbian way, the proper way that we Serbs do this. Give me just, just one second. All right, uh, the situation has been dealt with and uh, we can continue. So I was uh, saying that uh, where was I? Yeah, uh, I'm currently running this game at fucking 7 to 25 frames per second. And I really can't do any videos on it that are, like, done in the game. Because, like, it's such a strain on the eyes, even for, for me. And I'm just waiting for the new rig. So... I have a bunch of videos that I want to do about like different ships and different uh, stuff, but I currently can't do that. So I'm just waiting for the new PC, to, for the new rig that I ordered, and, and it's going to be an Asus uh, uh, GA35. It's a, a pre-built 3090 fucking Razer 9 uh, 5950X and all of that good stuff. So yeah, I, once I get that rig, I'm going to do fucking videos every day in the game about some stuff that I like, that I actually like. But the thing is, whatever I do that I like, it, it gets no fucking views. Whenever I rant and get pissed off, you guys, like, well, not you guys, but like the community fucking flips out and most of them, or most of the views come from people that want to fucking bash on me. But like, see what the problem here is. I'm trying to do both because I, I, I really think that you need both. As I was saying before, I had to kick the guy's ass. Um, we have been doing this for 10 years and it's not working guys it is simply not working like you already have a bunch of youtube channels like i'm not gonna mention any names but they are mostly re really really positive and they are trying to push the way that cag is thinking and, and developing and everything that they said uh and like push it down your throat uh, 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 like uh, as a community so the community could not obey but could understand what cag is trying to do but like no we are gamers like we 
uh, we can understand. We some of us can understand. Some of us can't understand. But in the end. Uh, they're fucking with us for 10 years now. They're like salvage was postponed fucking eight times now. We have a reclaimer. The reclaimer doesn't have a game loop for it. It's still on the, like you can still buy it. Why? Why can you still buy the reclaimer? I don't get it. Why can you uh, uh, have a, a pointless fucking piece of ship like a Herald or an MSR or, or a reclaimer in the game and they, they don't have any game loops for it? And this is like why uh, I think that channels like this need to exist. And on the topic of that, there is actually a few channels that have changed their ways since I started the mine. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's not just like my fault or that I, I, I don't even think that I influenced them. I think they got influenced by the developers, by CAG not doing their job properly. And on top of that, we have a bunch of new channels that are popping up left and right uh, from other people that are making basically the same things or the same statements that I do. And I love them. Uh, like, uh, I watched basically most of uh, what they post and I mostly comments on mo on most of uh, those videos i have i don't know what, what i tried to say there but like it's actually working now so so why do i think it's working because like cag is trying to change their ways and they're doing it in the worst like they're, they're making the worst fucking solution to the problem and the problem is not us it's not the noise it's it's fucking cag not delivering on their promises right so what they do they're gonna take out the roadmap why? Do you think that we can't read the, the progress tracker? Dude, I'm gonna be like fucking nose into fucking progress tracking 24 seven so I can tell you how much they're fucking up in pushing uh, stuff uh, back into the far future. Like, for instance, uh, we, ha we have never had uh, server meshing on the roadmap, but before Christmas, the server meshing was on like, uh, it was supposed to be done on progress tracker apparently it was supposed to be done on uh, like early no late july and then they pushed it like just before uh, christmas they pushed it to like late august a few weeks back they pushed it to late september and without server meshing there is no 4.0 and will we get server meshing this year at all Without the roadmap, we really can't tell unless you look at the progress tracker. Well, the issue with the progress tracker is that you have a bunch of stuff that is like not even named because uh, it is unannounced and you don't even know if it's like for uh, Squadron 42 or for uh, Star Wars, fucking Star Citizen, Jesus Christ. So uh, I just watched the uh, Boba Fett, um, the book of Boba Fett and I'm still in Star Wars. Fucking Timothy Oliphant, I'm not gonna spoil it. Anyway, the thing is, they don't understand that we are gonna continue, that they didn't get rid of us at, at, like at all. They fucked up even more, and you can see that by looking at the spectrum right now. People are still fucking furious, and rightfully so. So, um, at some point, they will need to listen to the community. They will need to listen to me, to the other guys, and to the guys that, that change their ways and they are not attacking. Because I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't ever want to attack them. I want them to build a better game. I'm basically a guy that like gives them the money and then just like fucking, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm trying to hold them accountable with a whip. <laughs> <laughs> basically that's that's uh, how i see my job do I, do I like the game yes people have been saying that i hate the game and that i should be playing something else no why i love the game i love my org we play other games too but like i i i want to be i want this game to have to be the best fucking gaming experience ever is it gonna be the best fucking gaming experience ever i don't know but I'm trying to push them to make it the best fucking experience in gaming ever.
and I mean, the reason that I think it's working is because, like, there's a saying, <laughs> a Mahatma Gandhi say, even though he never said that, that, like, at first they will ignore you, then they will laugh at you, then they will, like, uh, attack you, throw, like, sticks and stones, and then you get all the bitches. And, uh... <laughs> You know, saying it's really inspirational. I'm really big on ins inspirational quotes. Fuck's sake. Uh, anyway, like, that is true. That is actually true, because they are... CAG is actually trying to fight back, not not because of my channel, but, but because of, of you guys and your outrage every time they push some deliverables back. And, like... That is not how you fight back. You fight back by working harder or just like not stating that you can do stuff that you actually can't do. Because like, yeah, some pe some people said that, like, I think Salty Mike uh, said that uh, this, uh, the, the whole roadmap was actually just like a marketing thing. And yes and no. Yes, it was a marketing thing, but in the end... <sighs> That, that is the only thing that we could, like, be excited for, because, like, the game is fucking boring now. The only thing that is keeping the game alive right now is PvP. For most of us. Like, yeah, maybe you can come here, like, come in the game uh, every three months or six months and play a bit, and then just, like, go mining or go cargo hauling if, if you have a caterpillar or something, uh, which doesn't work right now for some reason, because they probably changed the font on, on a keypad, and then it broke the fucking elevator on the, on the caterpillar. Anyway... <laughs> You might be that kind of guy that comes there uh, and plays the game every six months and then you go and do other stuff. And that's okay, but that is not how a game should work, not how a live service should work, not how Star Citizen after 10 years of development should work. And that is why I think that like... <sighs> The progress tracker or uh, the uh, release view on the roadmap was the biggest thing that we, the players that like play the game every day, basically, uh, needed to have that. We need to have that so we can be excited about the game. It's, like the excitement dropped as soon as they announced that Jump Town is done. And like you can go into in, into any server now, and Xenothread is on, but like most of the servers are like half empty. At, at least the EU servers where I'm playing. And why is that? Like, even if they're full for some time, uh, most of the players are not playing that because Xenothread is fucking boring. It's like, and you can <laughs> they nerfed it to fucking like to hell, dude. Like you used to earn a lot of money. Now you can do like two. Uh, um, group bounties through two like ERT bounties and get the same amount of money that you're gonna get for like two or two and a half hours on playing Xenothread. Well, like, why would you? Why would you do that when you can earn more money in less time? Oh, cause it's fun. It is not fun. Like, dude. I know that my frame rate is shit. I don't know why, but I know that my frame rate is shit. And it's even more trash when I when I do Xenothread. People that have like 60 or 70 FPS, their FPS fucking drops to, to like 30 during Xenothread. It is not fun. Also, we are shooting the NPCs that can't even fucking fly. They don't, like, the NPCs are uh, brain damaged, basically. So it's not fun. Once you did it once, or maybe twice, fuck it, let's do something else, let's PvP. But, like, they are incentivizing PvPers by doing nothing, basically. They're not fixing desync. Uh, and, like, my first fucking post on this channel was I asked them to fucking fix the desync and I'm gonna like I'm gonna say that a million times un like until they actually do that and I'm talking about positional desync so first off they're not fixing desync secondly uh, whenever like jump down or uh, fucking uh, xenothread or er any other like uh, uh, game loop or event is happening we don't get uh 
no, like we are getting no fucking incentive to do those on the pirate side. I'm not a like I'm not a part of the of a pirate orc. Ne neither do I want to play as a pirate. But there are some people that want to. And how the fuck are you incentivizing uh, PvP if like the Kamari during Xeno Threat is up and you can't fucking hack it? Like when I posted uh, the Xeno Threat uh, uh, video when I, where I said that like why like why didn't you like bring down the Kamari? People say like, why don't you bring it down yourself? And that just goes to say how fucking, uh, uh, I'm not gonna say stupid, but like uh, how little of knowledge of this game the white knights have. They, they, they have no idea that you can't hack a Camry on Michael One or on Jericho where uh, the whole thing is happening. How the fuck are we gonna hack it if it's not there? During Jump Town, why would you even need to hack the, uh, the, the thing if that's a PvP event? If you wanna incent incentivize people to PvP, you're gonna hack it every time the event is up. There's not gonna be a Camry, at least from my point of view. If, if you want to incentivize PvP, if not, like, you're gonna do what you did with Xenothread. You have the Kamari and the pirate guys, if they get killed, they either go to pleasure or uh, if the guys uh, that, that kill them uh, don't have call to arms, they're gonna spawn on the other fucking uh, um, side of the uh, verse in fucking grim hacks which is not even not, not remotely close to michael one and in the end what do you get for playing the xeno threat side you get nothing what do you get in the return on on this side you get on the lawful, lawful side you get some like you get money of course but you get like the the bullshit fucking armor and on the other side you get nothing do you get the armor? I mean, the armor is also fucking bullshit, but like, do you get anything? You, you don't get shit. So, how the fuck are you incentivizing PvP? And you know that PvP is the only thing that's, that is currently holding the game apart from fucking breaking. And people are, are just not playing anymore that much. Because, like, the Jump Town showed us what we actually want from the game. It showed us how the game could look like, even though it, like, it still has a long way to go. And it still needs to be fixed a, a lot. But, like, it showed us how the game was supposed to look like and how could it feel at some point uh, down down the way uh, after I don't know how many years of development more but like after that like it, when jump town ended it was just a fucking void and am I the one to blame because like I'm just making negative videos no dude how the fuck can you say that how am I negative I, I complimented them on Jump Town 2.0. I complimented them on every like I throw rose uh, roses at them as soon as they see that they are doing something good. But am I the, the one to blame when they do a shitty fucking inventory system? Am I the one to blame when I see that they are releasing fucking ship refueling? Even though why the fuck would we need ship refueling right now? Am I the one to blame for that? Am I being negative? How am I being... Like, tell me, down in the fucking comments of the video. Just tell me how the fuck am I being negative? Because I swear a lot. I swear a lot because I listen to fucking... I grew up on uh, jazz, blues, and fucking hip-hop my whole fucking life. And on movies. That's how I learned English here. Yeah, I swear a lot. So what? G fucking get, get over it. Jesus. And... I the one to blame when they call a huge portion of the community noise. Am I the one to blame when they get rid the fuck happened? Where's the other dog? So am I uh, by the way this is this is not Lola. Lola has uh, grown. Lola is fucking huge now and she can't even sit on my lap anymore. But like am I the one to blame when uh, this is rare by the way? Uh, so, am I the one to blame when um, they tell us that we are noise and that, like, uh, they pull out fucking uh, uh, segments of the roadmap that we all looked at and then they fucking 
like insult the whole community and afterwards they fucking also this is my girlfriend's dog so i'm i'm, I'm making her a youtuber also uh uh am i the one to blame for them doing ship sales right after that am i the one to blame for being negative about that am i like how can you blame me for stating the fucking obvious? You can't insult a whole portion of the community and then right after that do a fucking ship sale. No, first off, your chairman needs to put out a letter or put out a fucking video and tell the people that he's sorry or that he's like, uh, somebody fucked up. Somebody needs to... Uh, I get fired, like I'm not a fucking Karen, but somebody needs to, uh, we need to hold them accountable for everything they, they do, because there's nobody else, they don't have a publisher that's gonna like uh, hold them accountable, we, we, the only thing that we have is us. So am, am I the one to blame for the uh, Cuddy Steel of Price, or Clubby Seal, uh, how I like to call it, am I like... Am I being negative when I state the fucking obvious? I don't know, tell me. Uh, tell me in the comment section of, of the video. All right, so I know that like at least one of you would be pissed off and, and I'm talking about Sporksore, uh, that is uh, a sponsor of this channel or a Patreon or, pa or patron, whatever. Uh, I know that he would be pissed off that I didn't show Lola, but like, yeah, this is Lola. She is fucking huge and she's getting bigger by day dude uh, anyway one more thing that i forgot to add uh here is like do you actually want another channel another like the grumpy eye channel to be another of those like uh play pretend channels where like i would always talk about the future and what's gonna happen uh, and just like lie to you that the state of the, the, the game right now is purely because uh, they're working on the future even though that's not fucking happening but we, we can only like talk about the state of the channel like is that what you want is that like do you want another guy that's gonna uh do like ship sale uh videos and tell you like yeah you should buy this one because uh you can log out into bed because like that's really fucking useful and, and like People have been doing that for fucking years, even though bed logging didn't work. Do you not, do you want another channel like that? I don't. Anyway, I'm just gonna cut uh, back to uh, the video that I already pre-recorded, and uh, yeah, let's end this. And uh, there's a bunch of other things that I wanted to address, and I think I I, I said most of it, but like <laughs> there's one guy in the comments every fucking video that I make that says that he uh, can't watch the video because because uh, of the shitty music in the background and uh, yeah I every time I, I tell him thank you and uh, I think his name is like Hawk 75 so yeah thank you dude because uh, he obviously knows that I'm a musician and he's trying to get to me dude I like you can't get to me like you you don't understand that like i have 30 i'm like 34 and i have been through a lot in my uh, uh life uh i've been attacked by the government i've been fucking followed i i i have done a lot of shit in my life uh illegal shit uh, with like activism and all, all of that stuff and you can't really get to me by, by telling me that like my music is trash thank you thank you thank you for listening so yeah on that note um thank you for watching guys i'm gonna cut it short now because I, I i think i already talked for like half an hour or ranted for half an hour so thank you for watching and uh, as i said if you want to become a patreon uh, a patron uh it's, there's going to be a link down in the uh, uh, description of the video or the info section of the video and uh, yeah that's it uh tell me in the comments what you think about this uh i didn't want to post any video material uh, of the game itself so you can see my reaction my like my honest reactions and also because like i mostly have xeno threat running at 7 fps in the videos <laughs> so that, that that like you wouldn't want to watch that so uh yeah thank you for watching again and don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space and 
Mwah. Mwah. Bye.